was a lot of screaming going on. A lot of screaming. Just a lot of chaos. I just started, I started singing with it. I started praising God, right? And that's, oddly enough, everything went silent. God said, you just brought peace into a chaotic situation. You brought love into a loveless situation. Everybody screams until gospel music is played because they don't understand what's going on if they are listening to what if he said Jenny you know that, 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 this, that, that this household does not operate by the gifts of the spirit the fruits of the spirit so of course when you turn your gospel up somebody's going to take to it the wrong way they're going to see it as a a, 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 a threat mm-hmm. God said don't stop though some people, some people just, they, they, they want to be the leader at all times. So if, if, if my son responds to gospel music and I didn't introduce it, right, then I, oh my Lord, I must be a bad mom. And he starts to lift in his hands of worshiping God. Uh, and he's saying, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and he's not saying, mom, 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 mom. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 people think of me. I need it to look like uh, my son needs me. Baby. I don't feel useful in the hands of God. I need it to look like uh, I'm needed. I need it to look like uh, th- that's that's what depression is. It's a gaping hole that you cannot fill. It's a gaping hole. It's a void, and everything that comes around you and comes around and your presence gets sucked up into it. If you are not careful, God sends you into a situation, right? And there's a depressed, a depressive or depression spirit there. If you are not careful, you will get sucked up in the void too. Because what depression wants to do is it takes everybody around. I take everybody around me, and I force them to look like me. If I'm not the leader of the crew, if I'm not the leader of the pack, I said, uh-uh. to God be the glory. Hallelujah. I overcame depression. When? 2,000 years ago. When I became more than a conqueror. Jane, you didn't become more than a conqueror 44 years ago? No. I became more than a conqueror 2,000 years ago. When did Jesus Christ die? The BCs. I met him in the BCs. BC slash AD. That's what I became. Uh, more than a conqueror. When BC became AD, I became. The shit that's what BC stands for. BK. JB is B. Big. Uh, more than a conqueror. When BC became AD, I got it. My life uh, together. When BC became AD, the, the gift was spread out. The table was set before me in the presence of my enemy, and I started eating. Uh, uh, BC AD. I started eating. Uh, give me some joy. I need that. Give me some love. I need that. Give me some fulfillment. I need that. Give me some promise. I need that. Give me some purpose. I want to be called according to his purpose when BC becomes AD. Oh God! It won't matter what's going on around you. What I'm saying right now is a great place. I've learned how to submit here. Oh God! I said it the other day and I said it on the blog, but the blog ended up being real long, so I don't know if I'm going to post it. But I said it the other day. They had to carry me up the stairs backwards after I had my surgery. Up the stairs backwards. And they're not concrete stairs. It's sort of like not an asphalt. Maybe concrete. Maybe concrete. Because it's got that bubbly feeling to it. If you put your hand down on it too long, it hurts. And so we're going up a bunch of stairs. And I put my hand down. I was like, oh my Lord. Ugh. And then um, I, I think Stephen thought I would say, uh, I'm ready. But I didn't. I, I, I lifted my hands. Because I said, because I said uh, oh my Lord. Oh, they hurt. And as I lifted my hands, they were, here's the picture of it, guys. They're carrying me backwards. Christina has her arm hooked on me, my um, right arm. Stina, Stina has her arm hooked on my left arm, right? And they're walking me backwards up the stairs. They're walking, I'm sliding my butt. Here's your picture. Let's slide. It's fine, try it. Let's slide. It's about going backwards. Okay. They carry me backwards up the stairs. And, 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 and so I have to put my hands down and say, okay, when you're ready, Jenny, let us know. And I say, okay, and I lift my hands and I, I'm ready. And I will release and I will lift and I will go to the back and I put my hands back down again. Except, at one point in time, 
I thought I I, 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 I said, how was it hurt to put them say it loud enough for this? But what they thought was that I was red deep, my hands were in the air. I had my hands lifted up for you. Find me, God, I lift my hands up. It just looked like I was surrendering to the situation. I lift both my hands up. They thought that I was red deep, but I said, ow, my hands hurt. And what they did was they picked me up so fast and carried me. I said, by the time I said, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I, by the time I, I, I got the weight out, I was already at the top. God said, oh my God, it's out of the house. He said, Jamie, you want to know what it means to submit? Oh God, you want to know what it means to submit? You want to know what it means to submit? No, we talk about, oh, this is what I'm do when the king comes in. Now, I'm going to do that when the king comes in. Now, I'm going to submit. Now, I know how to do this. I'm going to be submissive. In fact, I'm going su- I'm, I'm, I'm to subject. I'm going to submit. I'm going to do all that. About God said, you want to know what submit really means? It means really letting go. The whole time we were climbing, climbing up the first couple of stairs, right? I thought I was letting go, except they let me gauge and judge when I was ready to put my hands back on the ground. I said, okay, 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 okay. And now, okay, I need a break. They put me down. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I need a break. Put my hands down. I don't know how God works. It came one step close towards the top, probably about four or five steps from the top, right? And they're big concrete steps and they're slabs of concrete. They're not just steps. They're outside the house, right? They're not just steps. They're not rather steps. They're slabs of concrete. And they're uneven. They're not spaced properly, right? I mean, not that they're not spaced properly, but they're not spaced like normal steps would be. And, um, that step came. Where my hands slipped in the air and then my boat was still in the air and they both picked me up and carried me to the door. I said, wait, 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 I said, that's, that's submitting. I had my hands slipped and now my hands went up. Uh, and before I knew it, my butt was at the top of the stage. God said, uh, now think about this. I told Stephen, I said, I, I learned what it means to submit. Because God said, think about this. Uh, if you had done that at the bottom of the stairs, uh, if you did that when you first got in the situation, if you asked me to help you when you first got in, uh, if you called me your provider when you first got in, uh, if you met me in with the weapons of your warfare on our cargo, uh, when you first got in, if you came in with what I can do, all things through Christ that strengthens me. When you first got in, uh, if you met me with a yet and still I am more than a conqueror. When you just, when you first got in, uh, if you started seeking me, seeking me first when you just got in, if you started Asking and finding and seeking and knocking when you first got in. Meet me now. If you meet me at the beginning of the seed, then once you get in the midst, you'll be alright. Meet me when you first get in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come We got in our bathtubs. You notice when you get in a bathtub and the water's hot, the, the water's always hottest when you first get in. It's not that the water's hot, it's just that your temperature has to drop. <laughs> God said you have to get used to the concept of submitting. It's not that it's hard, it's just that you're, 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 you, gotta, you gotta get used to it. Meet me when you put the wood before you sit I saw somebody slipping their foot into a tub. And a layer. It's also this. Here's the thing. God said the top layer, that top uh, layer of water. That top, of, top, 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 top layer of water is also the hottest too. God said still, meet me when you first get in. Then you won't be screaming for me. In the midst. Then you won't be crying out in the midst. So you won't be suffering in the midst. Right? You want to suffer in the midst. We meet God. We need to. Hey, God! Oh, he said to that. He said, let go. He said, it only worked for me because I let go. And then I, and it carried me. I said, no, what it means to submit now. I had no control over Stephen and Christina carrying me up the last five steps. As a matter of fact, I was thinking, oh my Lord, what if I fall? Oh my Lord, what if I fall? Oh my Lord, what if I fall? Because I didn't have any control. My hands were in the air. My hands were lifted up. My hands were still up because I still, I'm still saying, ouch, from the pain of putting them down. They had no idea. They thought I was ready. And I, 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 here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. The smoothest part of the ride is at the top. The smoothest part of the ride is at the top, right? Here's the thing. Here's a picture of submission. Number one, it, it, it gets better once you stop. 
say God, see that God said I'll never stop, right? I never leave you, never take you, I never stop. But here's the thing, once you submit, to, you will realize that it gets better once you stop. Once you stop telling God how to do this job, once you stop telling God what to do about the situation, once you start trying to stop trying to fix it and work it to your own benefit, to your for your for your good and for your glory, once you stop trying to work God over, once you stop trying to <laughs> <laughs> fix it because we talked about it. God doesn't fix anything. He changes things. They speak eternal. They don't speak natural. Do you know your God say I will fix something? We fix. That's why God tells us to fix our eyes on Jesus, who's the author and finisher of our faith. We fix. Yeah. And then when we do it, when He tells us to do it, He tells us to do it from an eternal perspective. Because uh, fixing my eyes on Jesus is uh, an eternal type thing. Because I'm fixing my eyes on something eternal, right? I am putting my eyes, uh, locking my eyes on Him. So it has an eternal connotation. Fix us uh, when, uh, when it's in the Bible when we talk about it from God's perspective. But you will never hear God say, "I'm gonna fix you." I'm gonna change you. Yes. Oh my God. Romans 12, 1 and 2. I'm about to date high. That's a picture submission. That's a picture submission. God showed me. God said, uh, you want to know a picture submission, Danny? You want to know what submission is? He took my hands from underneath me. He took control from me. You want to know what submission is? That means if you are in the household with that king, he has control. You are the body laying next to him, right? He has, he doesn't, it's not that he is controlling you, but he has control, right? You have to believe, and there was a story that Stephen told me about his job where he didn't know whether he was going to be able to, that he was going to keep his job. He was going to be able to keep his job. Because people were gunning after him to fire him. And he said, Jamie just got fixed all of a sudden. He's like, I got, I, 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 God came in and he fixed it because I, that, that one of the supervisors that was working with me got fired too. It was like, he said, God came in and he said, the position that I have now, it could have been a day out of the high. The position that I have now is better than that. I applied for a position, got a promotion, and someone got upset about me getting a promotion, tried to knock me down out of it. That's what he said. So he started to knock, trying to knock him down out of it. It was a couple of people. Or something happened when God just stepped in. And all of a sudden, he has a position that better than he had in the promotion, right? When he got the promotion. And the point of people that was trying to come against him got fired. That's what God was doing. But you got to meet him. And I meet him, meet, meet him strong at the beginning of it. You got to meet him. My story in this, my, 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 my personality uh, highlight in that story was not Stephen, though. It was Christina. I said, Stephen, I said, at this point, um, say I had Samuel been born? He said, yeah. And this went on for about two to three years, I think. He said that's the part of it was a year, then two to three years or something. The whole thing went on for about two to three years. He said, yeah. I said, okay, so you got three kids. We're going to NIH, so you got this really cool job. I mean, he's like really smart. It's ridiculous. But you got three kids. And under threat, this is his response to my submission comment. Because he said, Jamie, I'll learn how to speak. But under threat of firing, I said, did Christina know? He said, yeah, she knew the whole time. longer working she was homeschooling her kids so at this point she's homeschooling her kids she had uh, left her job right because she was uh, working in uh she is very smart with credit and finance and things like that so she's working in a collections right but here now at this point steven she has helped fix steven credit right and her own uh, 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 now what she did at this point right at the point where her money is being challenged her finances are being challenged she continued to work with her kids in other words that's submission Face of fire. Oh God, what will you do? I mean, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I said, that's why they're so blessed. Do they do everything right? No. Absolutely not. Here's the thing. Here is the thing. The Bible says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. I mean, they literally, they're literally, the house is gorgeous. They literally live like, I mean, I, I love living here. I mean, I can't wait to get back to my own house. Let's just be honest. But the comfort I have being here, I mean, I, I, groceries every week, whenever I want them, whenever I need them, I, I get whatever I need. I get what I, I, get what I want. Right? 
There's another question. Mm, Jamie says she wants this for dinner, but can we do it? Mm, I did it. They never have a mm, moment. Mm. God, I thank you, Jesus. Look at the picture. In the face of fire. Shadrach and Meshach and, uh, Meshach and Abednego were, 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 they were thrown into the fiery furnace. But Stephen walked in. He's got kids, right? And he's got Christina. She knew about the fire, knew what was going on, and she stood at the mouth of the furnace. And as he went in, she said, okay, we'll follow if you need be, if need be. If God says for us to, we will do it. In other words, when Stephen, when the husband submitted, when the king submitted, Christina's arms were cut off. They were already, they, her arms were already gone, right? So how would she be able to hold herself up? Here, here's what I'm saying. If anything had happened and they had fired Stephen... How would they support three kids? Christina had quit her job to stay home with her kids, to homeschool them, which I see right now is not easy. It's not, I'm telling you, it's, it's, there, there are days when that woman, I think, she just leaves, she sits down like, oh my God, she, I'm holding her face, holding her face. It's not the material. <laughs> it's the kids. I'll just be honest, they're so smart. They're so smart, but they know exactly what to do to get her mother's nerves enough so that she want to quit life. Dealing with depression, she still does it. Dealing with heartache, she still does it. Dealing with pain, she still does it. Dealing with a, a Samuel, she still does it. She's surrounded by these kids every single day. And my God, they can be annoying. But they're so adorable. Here's the takeaway. <laughs> I never thought submission would look like this. God submitted in that while. Romans 5, 8 says, I was yet a sinner. Christ died for me. While I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me. Now that scripture says, uh, uh, for God commended his love toward us. That was back thousands of years ago, right? He commended his love toward us. In that while, meaning why I was a sinner, because I was born in sin, the shape of iniquity. I was born into sin, right? I was born this way. Romans 3.23 says, all have sinned and fall short of glory of God. So I didn't come in in perfection. I came in. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. And I came in perfect. But I was born in sin, right? I'm perfect because I'm made in the image of God. But I was, I, was, I was born in sin though, right? So the Bible says in that while, in that while, what while? That while of time. You know that time back then? Why about that while, right? If, come here, what time? Just a little while. Just a little while. Just a little while, right? In that while. While is a time peak frame. In that while I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me. So while I was sinning, Christ died, right? And while Christ was dying, I became. Because as a result of him dying, I don't care what other people say. I had a, a pastor say, uh, uh, I can't believe somebody said I'm, I'm, I'm the next best thing to Jesus. Uh, uh-uh. I know he's talking about me. And I did not say that. What I said was, read the Bible. I said I was going from John to 1st John. See, before you quote somebody, you need to actually hear what they're saying and listen. Listen. Like he says, Simon, Simon. That means listen, Simon. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. This is Pastor stupidity. Because I'm, I'm not still wearing a mask. I don't do that. We don't wear masks around here. Masks are nothing but a picture of fear. Unless the government issues an edict in order for me to wear a mask, I'm not still wearing a mask. What are you hiding? Now, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I think that's, that's first John, right? And we go back to John, what did he say? Greater things shall I do. Not you, because you don't believe. His thing. And if greater said I was going to do greater, right? If greater this is he said I was going to do greater. Meaning he's classifying me as greater. Mind you, he's saying that I would do great things. He said I would do greater. If greater is he said I would do greater, then what does that say about you? Hallelujah to God. What does that say about you? Greater said I was going to do greater. That says you're going to do greater too. All you got to do is believe. But we have so many people that are so busy looking X-axis at everybody else instead of looking at Y. And asking God, why am I not there? 
Here's a hint. Here's a hint. Um, I said it. Let's see what's happened in the past two weeks that I haven't really been, you know, doing blogs like that. I, I'm thanking God for this thing right here. It's amazing. As a matter of fact, the piece that the museum had and paid me $500 for and then gave it back to me, the state now wants uh, to hold on to, right? The state wants that piece. It's called identity, right? My face is on the board and my poetry is on the board with it. So I'm not an artist. So what does that say about me? And I, I must be doing something great and uh, getting something greater. See, I don't look at what people say. I will pay attention to what you say based on what is coming out of you. If I see greatness coming from you, then I, and I want to know how to be great, then I will actually tag in on what you are saying. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't judge what you're saying, right? And you'll cast it down if you are doing greater because there must be something about what you are doing that causes God to back it in the spirit. God said, don't say anything about it. Let them see uh, what I'm doing through you. Hallelujah. God said, the state with the peace, right? And they don't take nothing. They don't take nobody. So um, after that, I say about five minutes, literally five minutes, Christina was like, oh my Lord, you're busy. Because five minutes after I got that call, I got another call saying that uh, they want me to make a small exhibition, meaning that's my stuff, only my pieces. Uh, about I don't know, they, uh, Miss Chris hasn't sent me the paperwork yet, but only my pieces, my stuff, my stuff, my stuff to go into, cha- into the Chamber of Commerce for the months of July and August. I don't know, and I'm not an artist, so I don't know what that means, of Chambers of Commerce is. I don't know, but it sounds important. It sounds like government. It sounds like businesses. When I looked it up, it actually said um, it's a place where people with uh, many resources, entrepreneurs, um, industrial um, workers, they, they, uh, lots of entrepreneurs, lots of people that are up and coming, uh, people that are forming businesses, they meet at the Chamber of Commerce. So I'll be there for two months with them. I don't know. You're talking, but where are you? Yeah, you, oh, you got your mask, right? You got your mask. You are trying to kick uh, what you're saying into yourself. You try to kick yourself quiet. You try to keep what you got, what you've been given as a gift to yourself behind your mask. Your face is sitting behind your mask. How about this? My face is on the board and it's going into the, uh, it's going on the state the website for Maryland. Blah, blah, blah. I'm a Maryland bard, Maryland bard as well. right? My poetry is in the anthology right? Uh, again. Three of my poems just got in. And I, I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm not a poet either. So how am I barking, why am I barking on what, what I'm doing? It's because of the fact that this is what God is doing through me. I'm not doing anything. It's because I got up and said... Where is he that is in me than he has in the world? But, 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 but the, the, the greater is he said, Jamie, you greater. He said it. 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 I'm not going to say receive it because you don't have to. That's why you're walking like that. That's why you look like that. But I'm not going to say receive it. I'm going to say he said it. He said it. He said it. He said it. Like what Samuel do. <laughs> I don't know much about what's going on. But at the end of the day, by the time uh, 8 o'clock comes when he go to bed, I first of all, I'm saying thank you, Jesus, that he's leaving. But I don't know everybody's name, but I know Christina's name. It ain't Christina. It's mom, 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 mom. Why? Because it doesn't matter whether mom comes immediately or not. He would do that for 20 minutes. And here's the thing. It's because of the fact that he has faith and he believes that that is mom's name. He knows if he stands in front of this woman that looked like that with that face and say, mom, mom, la, 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 she will come eventually. She's going to answer to me. Because she likes it when I say that. She likes it when I do that. She likes it when I scream. Bah, 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 bah. She feed off it. That's a negative expression. But I'm being funny, obviously. But the, the, the flip of it, the flip side of it, is it's funny that a child has that faith. That's what he talked about. Childlike faith. Because that child believes that if he says that in that woman's face, he will get whatever he wants from her. I don't care if you got to give it to me, God, because I've annoyed you just that much. Give it to me. What is it? Whatever it be. Hallelujah, God. I said, I'm not going to ask God for nothing. This is a, all the stuff. These three things in an art, right, that I've gotten. Oh, I've gotten the Tri-State Artist Equity, right? And they're taking my piece of around with them, right? Now, these these, these three things, I did not, the, the, the Tri-State Artist Equity, I did have to submit my piece to them. I did, they didn't need a size, and it's going to their gallery as well. But I didn't have to, but these, these things that I was called, I did not have to give them anything. I was recommended and called for these things. I didn't call for this. I'm more than a conqueror. I was called greater. I am, I am, I am, I am 